most a few of the guys on uh, Saturday, some were doing better than, than others, and yeah. it's like, well, how do we make sure that the guys that need to sort of work on things, you know, what's their advice around yeah. how we that? Well, I think even those guys, there are a lot of uh, weekend warriors who will go out and, and go for their long, you know, mm. five to 10K runs. Mm. The, the issue, obviously, in a game of football is you've got a lot of um, high acceleration, deceleration issues yeah. over much shorter distances. So it is a different sort of running uh, yes. programs that we need to encourage. Yeah. I think I'd be saying, suggesting that just from a general fitness point of view, um, in the early stages of these programs, we'd be suggesting some higher volume sort of stuff, but it might just be some jogging and then some fart leak with that increased striding out. Yeah, um, so fart leak is when you try to, it's, it's a, uh, that speed play with yeah, the, the that's right. Scandinavians do. So yeah. you try to run like a steady pace for, yeah, for a certain you, know, period of time. you know, five, 10 minutes kind of a thing, and you try to increase the change, the speed. And, that, that's right. Yeah. So you can start off with just some steady state jogging and then through a, a you know, whether you're running over an oval, Every 100 metres or so, you could start to do some stride work, then you could come back to a jog, yep. striding out, jogging, striding out, jogging, over various distances mm -hmm. and various time periods. Yep. Um, and then we'd move on. Once you start getting that volume up and getting some mm -hmm. reasonable summer case, which is where I'd start for some of these barbers, then we can start thinking about, well, we've got to get into this higher end run-through sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then um, perhaps doing some run-throughs between 30 metre cones, separated apart. Oh, yeah, okay. Quite so, like, a, like a rugby pitch. Absolutely. 25 metres, absolutely. 60 metres. Yep. And you yeah. do some acceleration work, starting off at zero, obviously, accelerating to a point 30 metres away, mm. maintaining about 80% to 85% of your, of your capacity, and yep. then a deceleration over the next 30 metres. So it's 30, 30, 30, acceleration the first 30, maintaining that higher end speed for that middle 30 meters, yeah. and then the, low, the, the final 30 just a deceleration yeah um, and you could do some you know uh, six sets of those into six of the runs yeah um, and maybe do one or two sets and to start off with and then build up on that volume as you start improving yeah so the sort of like week one don't push it too hard no do the same that yeah uh, that, you know 30 30 30 or 20 20 yep some might start at 10 meters if yeah. they're not so fit and Absolutely. just kind of build that Sort of one one speed, one maintain, one recover, one deceleration, and then yeah. you know whatever you can sort of handle. Yeah, and then you know, and then sort of you know, jog to the ground, do that. Yep. jog home again, kind of a thing. That'd absolutely, be a good, absolutely. Good thing to do, just probably once a week as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'd be I'd be suggesting that they could even do that session as long as they're doing it every second day. I'd be recommending yeah, that they could do right. that every second or third day. So yeah, okay. um, you yeah, know, yeah, they're okay. going to be busy guys. So if they do their Sunday training. Maybe even a Tuesday, Tuesday. Thursday, yeah. Tuesday, Thursday session might also complement that um, mm. as a very basic sort of program. Building up that yeah, way. Yeah. yeah, but I just don't think the once or twice a week even, if we're really trying to um, yeah. get, uh, get reasonable sort of... Uh, that's the key point, isn't it? You've got to do more, yeah. Yeah, not less. That's right. To prevent running injuries, that's right. more running, That's right. but not every day. It's no. every, we every need that recovery. So, yeah, recovery yeah. is certainly very important. And we do want to avoid these big spikes in the load, yeah. whether it be through tendon injuries or yeah, so. Yeah, so we don't want to see like nothing through the weekend in Sunday, go hard yeah. and be sore for a week. You want to yeah. see like a little Absolutely. bit, a little bit, and then Sunday, and then yeah. you know repeat that. That's for right. Six and, weeks. and what yeah. you'll find is that they, the the um, research will indicate that these incremental increases in training loads yeah. will increase your ability to to adapt mm. to that load. Yeah. So that come the game in six weeks' time. Yeah, sort of 10, 15, 20 percent a week, but no Absolutely. more than that.